be able to get uh, one or two things to add to your knowledge from the lesson so far. So in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you the first things. Um, they are more of the best practices that we do as uh, designers. What we do at the beginning of any project, I'll be teaching you all of this. I'll be showing you how to create low fidelity uh, designs and also, um, sorry, wireframes. And then would we'll also look at how we can create um, star guides for the usage for our designs. Aside that, we'll be looking at other um, things as well, but majorly focusing on creation of star guides, um, grid systems, um, layouts, consistency. We'll be bringing those principles into today's lesson. We'll be looking also at hierarchy. So these are the things we'll be looking. Um, forward to creating in these designs uh, for today's class. So you can go over um, mono.co if you're on your laptop and you'll be able to see that um, the structure of their website and that is what we'll be doing in today's class. So the first thing you would want to do or the first things I do for my designs or whatever project I'm working on is first knowing what frame size to use. So you can go to frame at the top click frame come to desktop then you can use either the desktop frame or you can use any of them or you can use a custom size so if we go back to monos screenshots because this is a full screen screenshot if I click on it you're going to see the size is the width of the frame is 1280 all right and it's 1280 because it's from this point just in case um, you don't know what the width is so when we talk about width we're talking about the horizontal calculation that's from left to right that's um, the width and then from top to down that is the height of this particular frame so the width of this frame is 1280 so I'm going to grab that copy that and then I'm going to create a custom frame I'll just draw this out and then I'm going to paste that in the width now the height don't actually matter the height of the frame you don't need to bother about that because it can be as long as anything that you want and when I'm talking about the height I'm talking about this entire flow from top to this point where I stopped all right this is not the end of their website but this is where I stopped screenshotting all right so you can see that and then um, from this point the next thing I like to do is to spell out my grid system so to get that correctly what I'll do if I screenshotted something um, I actually use hundred for my margin which is the most important thing when designing and when we talk about margin we're talking about this area so I'm going to draw out and um, a ruler I'll just bring out a ruler we're talking about this part all right and then we'll take it to this other part and this part so disregard this other image that flows out of the margin yeah that is that is also a good practice all right so you can leave that image there but this only happens majorly on the hero section now what is a hero session the hero session is the landing page it's it's where you land so for instance if you open any website the first screen that shows up which usually contains the image, the header text, the subheader text, and the CTAs is the hero session. So this part that you see at this point is the hero session of Mono's website. All right, so um, it's you, you usually find this kind of um, layout for um, any website in the hero session. Now, when you come down, if you look at the line that I have created, you will see that all the contents in Mono's um, website follow through with the line the only thing that would change would be some of the um, the frames that would run from the left end and I'm talking about this end and would end at the uh, far right all right but the content inside of them will still maintain this layout so you can see all of the layouts following through with these both lines that I have created and if I had screenshotted more screens you will see the other part I was talking about. All right, so this is something that it's a best practice. You need to be consistent 
with the margin and that's why we create grids all right so you need to understand why we create grids that's one of the major reasons why we create grids it gives you a good layout and then it also keeps the layout consistent so you you don't have something going in this manner these are two squares uh rectangles so if i draw a rectangle this way and i draw another one this way this is following through with it but now if i have this one going this way and i have another one going this way it's out of the margin so that's a in in companies they'll say it's non-conformance so it does not conform with the structure of the organization and this is a structure so you have to continue with that particular structure and not just the margins alone but also the margins inside of the designs that you're going to create like for instance the margin inside of this card if i draw a line here all right it has to conform with this other one all right and then with the up with this one as well so it has to follow that line so if i drag this line to this point you will see that the one at the top and the one beneath it follow the same line and that's how the structure should be for any other thing that is inside of a card you can see this other one is inside of a card and this card can be called a component um, um, it, you can actually create a component rather and uh, use this for your designs and it maintains that consistency for you in regards to the contents that are similar and it's actually going to give you um, consistency in the usage of certain things in regards to the text size um, the color the layout so this is some of the reasons why we do this all right so you can see the consistency as I flow down it follows through with the calculation for everything so margins are very very important so if I'm using a grid system for the design for the entire canvas then the margins inside of these frames should also have a grid system so when you create a frame then you would give it a margin of its own and it would be consistent across those elements and these are similar elements the image here um, the the card here is the same as this one the only difference is it runs from left to right it has an image it has an icon it has a, a header text which is the subheader text it has the body text it has the cta all right and it's the same thing with this one and the same with this one as well so for this particular one i this one has two buttons and that's why you can see that it doesn't flow at this point but in this design i probably would put it at this point all right so without any further ado let's dive right into the design um so the first things i would do is extend this frame i'll just extend it a bit and then i'll come in here i'll actually come here select this right click and click on frame selection now by doing this i'll be able to tell what margin size they've used for this design so by creating a frame i can now choose a layout now i had to create a frame because i wanted to create a layout grid now if i didn't choose a frame if i click on this one you'll see it doesn't have the layout grid functionality on the right hand panel but on this one that is a frame so it only works for things or elements in your design that are frames so we we'll create a frame by right clicking like I said and click on frame selection which we've done and then click on layout grid now it creates this grid now if I'm going so fast Adati and uh, my friend I, I can't see the other person but Adati Deji and um, Akin you can let me know if I'm going so fast right so you create a grid click on the grid um, plus sign or the center of it uh, if I take that out I can do that again click here or click on the plus sign or if you have a grid style you can click on the style and you'll find it here but since I don't have anyone I'll click on the layout grid and then click on this grid setting layout grid setting all right so once we do that we're going to change it from the modular grid and we're going to make it um, a column grid so we'll click here and choose columns all right so we have the columns and then go to margin this is majorly for recreating other people's website when you're doing yours you can use whatever you want to use but ensure you stick to the best practice now one way I achieve this is by going to some top 
brands that I actually love what they've done. Um, brands that have won awards, maybe their website has won awards. I screenshot them on my laptop and then I do this. This would help me make certain informed decisions based on the reasons for the space because you won't want your designs to be too cluttered or too open. All right, so we do this majorly for this purpose. All right, so once we've been able to do this, um, once we do that, actually, go to the margin here, and then you can start reducing the size. So you're going to see it moving, and then you can keep it where... For me, I use 100, but for this website, they've used 182. So between 150 and 180, that's what they've used for this particular screenshot. right we can pr proceed you guys know me I don't like using red so I'm going to change it to black or I change it to blue but let's leave it at black right so we're going to change the points the count to 12 so for websites always use 12 point grids all right and then the gutter can be 20 or 24 or whichever one works for you but I like using between 20 and um what's it called 24 so let's test what they've used for theirs because they have a partition here so we can actually test what they've used so i would zoom into this once i zoom into this i'll grab my ruler place it here place one here grab another one place it here as well and then i'm going to use the square tool you can select or use arrow and draw from end to end all right you can see what they've used for theirs the width is 16 so they're using 16 for theirs but i'm going to keep mine at 20 all right but for this one they've used 16 and it's going to conform as well with this space at the top as well so 16 and 16 all right so let's proceed and go back to our design so we have this now i'm going to select it and add this grid to our design system all right so let me do that again to add a grid to a style guide, not design system, all you need to do is click on this at the layout grid section after creating your grid. Click on the four uh, points here that says style. Click on it and click on the plus sign. So by clicking on the plus sign, you'll be able to now name it. So the name would be 12 point grid. All right. And then what's it for? You can say website um design or website layout whatever you want to call it create style now in our style you're going to see it down here as 12 point grid so it's over here at the grid styles we have an effect style we have color style but we'll be using these colors for today we'll be using the different color so let's get um our grid into this frame so select this frame go to that same style then choose the grid it appears there so we don't need to do it afresh you can see how creating star guides can keep things consistent for you so you don't have to stress yourself and start going over things um, again from the start like creating another grid when I started my journey I used to do that a lot so I would create a grid style for this one I'll go to another one I'll do the same thing all right so that is not a good practice By using style guides, it's actually going to save you a lot of time and right, to make you work faster and smarter. All right, so let's proceed. Now, if I draw a frame from year to year and look at it, you're going to see the size 183. So it's the same thing you can do for this inner one. All right, you can now draw a frame, put it here, adjust it. And keep it here now what do we get we get um, 45 so for the ones that would be inside uh, this other cards would give them a margin of 45 all right take note of that and then for the one outside we gave it a margin of 182 182 all right just in case you're redesigning yours and you don't want to go through that process all right 182 we gave it a gutter of 20 a 12 point grid 
all right but for the inner uh, cards we'll get to that point we give it uh, for, we're going to give it 45 all right so I'm just going to write that down somewhere draw a frame and I'm going to write it down here so I don't forget so inner cards inner cards grid margin be 45 and then for the main frame margin is 182 gutter is 20 and then is a 12 point grid all right so we have this just place this here extend this a bit right so this is what we have for now is that uh, make it medium right so we have our frame and then the other thing we would want to do is I'm going to actually select this frame and reduce it this way so that I would actually tell where the top would begin so move it upward and then this time I'm going to just bring it closer by doing this I can now tell where the top is going to stop and where it's going to actually start so that's mono we're going to recreate mono's logo don't worry um, I don't want to download it so this is for this other one All right so let's let's do that so we're going to select not select we're going to recreate this but let's create our color style first so grab the circle tool All right it, it mustn't be a circle tool you can grab any one duplicate it multiple times now mono is majorly um their their main colors are white and black but they have an accent color which is the blue that you see so the blue is used for things like their ctas and some other card features like this card they use the blue they used it majorly for the cta and the card colors majorly for these two, um, two purposes so that is what we're going to stick with for this design so i'm going to go up here and um, the first one i'm going to choose is going to be their black so they're using a pure black um zero 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 and then their white is pure white f f f f and then their blue is 22 54 b4 22 54 b4 all right so we're going to select their gray they have a gray so their gray is here f5 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 and right we're going to also do the same for the their, their cards so we're going to select this one their card has a lighter shade of their blue so we're going to pick this all right and this all that other blue is e d f5 f e e d f5 f -E. E. that's the hash code and um, yeah so that's the code for that and then they have other sub colors um, I'm just going to keep them together so if we select this one we can pick this orange that works on blue this shade that shade is E A 8 4 5 D all right we're going to pick this other pink the pink is d9 3670 d9 3670 and then the last one will be their green the green is 72 a752 so we have these ones i'm going to give them um, the proximity of zero so that we know that they are like terms so just keep them here for now all right and then these other ones would be on their own as well just put, i'll just put them select all of them and we're going to create a color style for them all right now to create a color style all you have to do you can select all of them and do them one after the other but i'm going to do this i'm going to select the major ones first this one is the gray and this one is that light blue it's also an ascent color so it it will be part of this one um yeah so we're going to select all of these actually go to the black we're going to name that black actually um, or text color so black or text color but I know it's the text color so 
blue is going to be accent or button color so you can put accent buttons this f5 is going to be the gray and obviously fff is going to be white right so i've done that select all of these other ones i'm just going to give them i'm just going to call them one create two create you can name this give it whatever name as long as you remember what you gave it all right and then i'll call this one light blue right so we have all of that and they are down here i'll just select the first one i created a black go to the last one hold shift click on it and then i'm going to move it to the top so just drag it to the top all right so that's there i'm going to grab the black select another one grab the black and move it up there as well let's see black ascent let's put the white next to it just one gray one two three light blue let's put the light blue close to the gray and then we have one two three and these other colors are from our last um, practice for uh, piggy vest all right so let's continue we've created our color star we don't need this anymore get rid of that you can see all of them now have their names instead of the hash code so that means they've all been saved delete that we don't need that the next thing we're going to do is to find what text size they use and i've told you guys how to do this but in this class i'm only showing you how to set up these things all right so the rest of the design we're just going to do a bit of the design and then i'm going to show you how you can be consistent with the um the layouts and structure you've used so the first thing i'm always saying the first thing so it's not the first thing so the thing what you need to do next is simply bring out the text to you can either click the text to here or you can type t and the text to will be out and then you can write the same text reliable reliably access access bank reliably access bank accounts right uh, bank accounts right so we have that we're going to extend it we already have a grid here so we're just going to extend it on the grid to this point so it's taking up six points grid you can see it one two three four five six and then the image is supposed to take up six points as well so boy it extended it went out giving one point of the grid um for the space between them all right so this is one point of the grid well i'm going to show you how to create this and this is mono's logo actually so they've used the logo to create this um system that you can see um over here so we have this we'll now have to increase it so let's try um 96 96 is too much we're going to try 64 reliably so we're going to have to use the navigation key so come downwards um this way and yes that is it so we're going to be using 50 56 so we'll stick to 56 that is it up there we have the reliably access bank account and we've made that bold so that will be our first text style and this would be for the hero header text so you can call it h1 so h1 is the first um text at the top and then we have the body text so i'm going to duplicate this we're going to create the text style in very soon so i'm going to type mono helps businesses i'm actually going to reduce that now so click out select it come here and i'm going to choose 20 for now all right and go back to regular let's do regular zoom up there bring this downwards a bit and then click to assess high quality financial data and direct bank payments full stop right so this is almost it but let's try 18 18 is quite far so we'll use 19 
all right and we're using the font inter we're using inter so inter is almost similar to this so i'm going to stick with inter for this so let's check out the line height so the line height is so i'll give you the line height the line height is 25 25 and then the size of the body text is 19 and is regular and then for this other one is bold and i'll just give you the line height now so the line height for this other one for this one is 139.5 percent so you can use that for this one as well and then this one the body text and we can now select the third one so i'm going to duplicate this just move it this way bring it to the top we have the body two uh sorry header two which is h2 and it's this one all right we have up to h3 um the more the numbers the lesser the size of this thing so you can have majorly on my designs i use just um three of them all right so i just saw your message Scenarity calmness is asking via Facebook. Can one do user interface using smartphone? No, oh, no, you can't. You can't. You can only learn, um, but you can't practice. All right. Thank you very much for the question. I'm, I'll try to open up that. Um, I'll try to open up that chat um, as often as I can. All right. So we'll move this upward. So if you're watching this, you can just watch for your watching pleasure alone you, if you're using a mobile phone you will not be able to actually um, design at the end of the day but yeah you can still follow up build for the future all right and of digital finance full stop all right so you see this take took up three lines and obviously it's two on mono so we're going to go downwards to between 36 and 40 let me see how that looks like and then I would increase this some more all right something like this this will now break in a bit all right I'm going to follow through with the size so I'm going to increase reduce rather the the line height one three three percent the text is bold and it's 42 42 in size and it's still inter and let's see if the body text also conforms with the body text one so extend this right and we're going to type bring yes yeah, so it conforms tomorrow so it conforms I'll just get rid of that that works this is our h2 and then um, let me see this other one so bring that text in here this should be smaller and we're going to type securely you can see it's securely assess financial so we don't need to type finish I'll just make that adjustment this should be 16 all right so 14 so we're going to use 14 for this one all right and then it's not going to be regular it's going to be medium right so mono has probably used 13 let's see 13 worked so we'd use 13 and let me see for the line height statements right the line height is 25 let's try 18 18 yeah so 18 worked so this is going to be the body text too so we're going to leave that there and see if there are any other thing um, that we would need that text for so we'll bring this down here and we're going to type start with connect all right so this one is still smaller let's try 11 so it's 11 I'm shocked that is 11 for mine I'm going to use 12 and I'm going to be using I'm going to use semi bold for mine or let's use 11 
and then semi bold. All right, so this is okay. All right, we have that for those decks. Let's check if we have another one. All right, and that's that. All right, so that's all the text we need for this design. We can now start creating our style. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to call it. I'm going to click on the plus sign and this one will be called button button text press enter and then we can go up to this one and we're going to call this one body 2 body 2 text all right and yeah so this one we're going to call it h2 or header 2 so just type header 2 and then we have header 1 and b1 so this will be header 1 or hero text hero header text and this is going to be body text body text 1 all right so we have that let's see if the button text for this is the same with the body text button text for the where is that text for this one so let's let's check that out so we can have that also sorted so get started so it's the same all right so we'll get rid of that so it's going to be the body text we have one more text to go at the top here we have y mono so i'm going to type y mono and then i'm going to change break it change it from semi bold to um, medium and so y header this is going to be nav text right and let's see if the text for the button is the same as the nav text should be the same so sign in is the same but it's bolder so i'm going to break it and i'm going to type uh let's use bold yeah we're going to use bold and then click on the plus sign and then type nav text bold so the nav text is 11 for those that would want to know it's 11 and the line height is 18 line height 18 um text size 11 and then it's medium for the text where you have the other text the navigations and then for the button it's bold right so take note of that we've now created all of our style guides i'll just rearrange them so i'll come up here we have the text styles up here so i'll send the header one up header two next to it body text one next to it body text two button text can be yeah right um yeah nav text and nav um nav text bold all right so you can also create the bold variations for the other buttons based on where you'll be using them you can create the light um variations as well uh for based on where you'll be using them so let's get back into the design so we're going to create mono we've created all the style guides that we need we've created colors we've created for textiles and then we've also created for the grid that we'll be using now remember we have two grid systems so i'm going to create for the other grid let me just do that now uh, so we have that applied as well so i'm going to just draw a frame from end to end all right nothing serious and then we would create that grid so i'm going to go up here click on grid go up there choose columns and then for this one i probably would use four four points and then imagine like i said would be 45 perfect and then i obviously will change it to black or white let's just give you a black for now and then we can leave the gutter at 20 or 16 so i just type 16 and then break that click on that style click on the plus sign type four points grid and then we can put for card as the reason or the description for cards right create style and then we can get rid of this uncle we don't need it anymore now in our style guides you can now see we have those two styles there and these guys this is how you set up 
you can see how long it took us to set up about 34 minutes or about 40 minutes gone um, to set up a system for the design so in this design we would only be creating the hero session for this class and like I said we'll be breaking it into different sections so for this class we're going to be creating the hero section and then uh, ultimately or in the next class on Tuesday would we'll continue with the design for the next session and then I'll also show you guys how to create these illustrations inside of Figma so I know some of you are excited about that so we'll be creating this also when we get to this particular session so um, watch out for that guys alright so the first thing I'm going to do is to create the mono um, mono logo so you can see how it flows and then you can see it here as well this is a different style of it all right so for this one I'm going to create them jointly all right so I'm going to select this one I'm just going to you know what I'm going to draw a square so just draw a square to end here and then zoom in I'll give it a stroke and hide the fill change that stroke to a sharp color so we can see it and then uh, let me see if I can do 0 0.3 awesome and then come up here to the edit object all right click on this and this send them upward so they are going to start from here now click on this and click on this one and then move them downwards this way right so we're done with that all we can now do is round it because mono has some roundness all right but before we do that let's finish up with the other one so i'm going to click done and then just duplicate it and you'll be done one more time and there you have it guys that is mono's um logo all right so we can now write the mono text close to it so i'll just get out my text and i'm going to type mono right uh, let's use one of these text style and see it doesn't work so we we'll break that this is for the logo so you can use whatever text style would work for you I will just extend it with the navigation you don't need to recreate a logo guys I'm just showing you how you can also create custom shapes in Figma alright so if you need to grab their logo just go online or go to their website right click on the logo and just save it all right you don't need to do all of this but you just need the experience or you need the knowledge all right so i'm going to, doing that i'm going to select um this this and this let's see if we can unify them all right i won't unify them just give them a color for now give them black let me give them blue for now close out the stroke and see where they end all right that's not bad we can now unify them and then give them this is one so I'm going to give them 0 0.2 let me see 0 0.2 perfect all right so that's perfect we have the logo and we have the text select both of them put them on auto layout perfect and then we can now copy this or cut it and we we'll paste it in our own frame so we have that there sitting very pretty we're going to choose black we choose black you can see it mono we're coming for you all right so you can see it here i'm actually going to give it zero point let's do 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 0 0.5 yeah i like 0 0.5 perfect right so with that we can now start spelling out the navigation so i'm going to do this we already know the textile so go up here choose the textile uh, nav text that is it so we have that there all right and what do they have they have it with arrows so we're going to do that as well would we'll say y mono so type y mono and then you can go up click the go to plugins and I'm going to use um, let me use feather icons for this because I like how clean feather icons um, icons are 
so we'd have this it's loading in the background all right we have this click on bring it here click on the down arrow close that out i'm going to change this from 24 lock it you have to lock it to do that so you see where i clicked you, when it's like this it's locked when it's open it's it's open whatever you do would only affect one side but when you lock it whatever you do you're constraining it to the both side if i change if i'm increasing to the width you will see the height is also increasing all right so that's what i want to do i'll just reduce it to 16 16 works on me send that out bring that back in select this it's too big so i'll change that to one yes yeah, select both of them lock them in an auto layered frame you can now give it a proximity of five and five should work right so i'm going to duplicate this more times so select it hold both of them auto layout and just duplicate it two more times all right we have that and then i'll select one of it come up here and what do they have mono has sign in so they have sign in here and then down here they have get started for free so get started can be for the sign up and um for this one uh, they have sign in so we're going to stick to what they've done even though if they didn't have get started here we probably would have changed the one at the top to two buttons that's sign up or get started and then sign in so we're going to stick to what they've done and type in sign in so with that we can now change the text style based on what we've created to the bolder version and then once we do that we will then create a button so you can hold shift and press a to give it auto layout shift plus a it's now in an auto layer but it's too big all right so we're going to reduce the constraint to the center actually i love doing that and then let me move it to this point so it touches that point let's give it a stroke so you see what i'm talking about and then i'm going to constrain it to the left actually left and center left all right so with that whatever i do it will only move from the exactly from this other point so i've done this make it 10 11 then reduce the height a bit so i've reduced the height to 5 that is 28 all right let's make that 30 yeah so this is 30 and then we'll give you the radius of 4 radius of four now our button height is 30 and the width can be anything at all that you choose you're the master of your own design so i'm going to change mine to 10.5 because i want it to flow on this particular one um, point so it's on one point select that and we'll give that a blue color now initially i said we're going to draw um sorry we're going to create the low fidelity now this is how the wireframe this is how we do our wireframes i'll just grab this both text because i'm going to still use them just keep them at the top all right so this is for wireframe now since we have this as text for wireframes you're going to draw with a shape just draw a shape for the first one this is the first one at the top for this particular one it will represent it and then we can do for the down part these other ones extend it to the six point grid all right you can extend it smaller then round the radius completely all right and then we can do that again reduce it this way and this way i guess i'm far away from you guys all right so reduce it that way we can do it for the buttons so the buttons here buttons will be supposed to be three by three so i'm going to do it this way three by three all right but they use two so let's let's just use two all right um select this one move it this way all right, so that would be for the buttons i'll just extend its size make it bigger a bit sorry make it bigger and then we're going to do the same thing for the image so i'm going to draw up the size for the image 
it's going to take up this space all right send it upward this is going to be the image i told you it has one point in between so with the image like this you can now draw a line you can draw a line this way all right position that here and then you can copy duplicate it ctrl d and then to flip it to flip it the other way without having to draw another line all you need to press is shift plus h and it's going to flip it all right so if you want to flip it horizontally um i mean vertically rather uh, so let's say for instance we have something like this yeah it, something like a triangle if you want to flip it vertically upside down just press shift plus v it'll flip shift plus h to flip side by side shift plus v to shift uh, or position up and down so i hope that helps you guys all right so we have this this is going to be for the image i'm going to actually correct this i like my things being pixel perfect so move this one bits this way all right now delete this one again select that line again duplicate it and press shift plus h all right so we have that that would be for the image this would be for the to represent the text and this other one will be for the button i'll move it in a bit and then you can do the same thing for the top here all right and this is how you can go about it you can also now do it for these other ones and if i'm to do that i'll just grab one of these and then just make it three by three right one two and that will be for those ones downwards right so move them downwards and then bring a, a text here and make this smaller and you're done all right so you can continue that way for the rest of them now for images we use this x so that someone uh, whoever is looking at this would know that this particular part is for images so for instance let's say you're not the one that is going to design this and you want to just give someone an idea of what they should do this would be a better approach and then for some persons they use this as the load screen i'm sure you must have visited some websites and you see it taking some time to load and then you see some screens of the exact shapes of those contents but it's it's not loaded yet so you can use this you can also turn it into a low fidelity with little informations but in grayscale so it won't have colors but it will just be in grayscale all right so that's how you can go about this and i do hope it helps you create something nice so i'm going to get rid of this i don't need it and then like i said i'll need this text so i'll grab both of them place them here i'm going to change their sizes so select this one is header okay we've already created that and then this other one select both of them lock them in auto layout and they are exactly where we want them to be right move this in move this in move this in right so we have that and then the next thing is for the other button all right um so we're going to grab just grab this button here yeah. we don't need these grids anymore delete that grab this button copy it come here and paste it all right and then you can place it here and then the text is get started for free and it has a it has an um, an arrow next to it so we're just going to pick that arrow from the feather icons and we'll reduce the size so how i determine this is by clicking on the size of the text and then this is 18 so i'm going to use 18 for the button so i'm going to type 18 and then move it into that frame all right this was constrained to the right so i'll constrain it to the left and center all right so we have this this button is quite big we'll change that to one and you know what i'm going to reduce it some more uh something like 12 change that to white so we see if it gives a better feeling okay that's fine and then the proximity between them i'll make that five all right so let's see what they have in theirs 
get started for free so we'll come back here and type get started for free that's amazing marketing all right and then the other button they constrained it they didn't use the same size for the buttons so the other one is contact sales so we'll go back here select this this other button should be higher so let's see if that is true so this one is 38 38 and this other one should be 30 so I'm I like using bigger buttons though so I'm going to make mine 40 let's do let's do 38 it looks quite good all right and then move it this way to touch that grid all right and then this one will be contact sales change the color the background color will change from blue to gray and then the white will change to black and then for the text we're going to use the other nav text yes the one that is not bold and we have this all right so we're heading somewhere next thing to do is to work on these images so you're going to do the same thing i'm going to hide the grid for now for this frame so select the grid break that hide it right so we're going to do the same thing we did to get the logo so i'll just draw a shape this way end it here why i'm ending it that way is because it has a starting point so the starting point is somewhere around here you know what let's do it for the other one that is more visible starting point is here and then it ends here exactly here all right so i'm going to grab this and then you can even give it the horizontal lines to be sure of what you're recreating so i'll give it um vertical lines rather move it this way and it's going to lock there all right and move this one in and then bring it downwards bring it downwards this way all right so that is mm, no sorry for this other one it will stop here sorry to stop here not <laughs> downwards all right so we drag that downwards that way and with this way we'll be able to adjust it uh, so we'll go back to the edit select these two nodes and then you can now start bringing them use the navigation key bring it downwards this way right so we're going to keep it at that alignment and then obviously we're going to curve it so select all of it just select it and curve let's make this blue right so we have this we have the top to do so i'll select the top select both of them and move it upward awesome all right so we've been able to get that shape and all you have to do for this shape is just clip whatever you want to clip in it or you can use a symmetric tool to twist things this way so i'm going to grab this one move it this way somewhere here and let's move it one step downwards move it this way and then grab this one move it this way and then upward this way right so we have three of these and then we're going to cut them and paste them in our design all right so you can see we have that now exactly where it should be let's see if it flows well bring it downwards a bit so we have all of this text and the other thing to do now is to create this other text so to do that all we need to do is have a button so i'm just going to grab this button move it upward and the text for this one i'm just going to move this in so that it's not too far away right reduce this reduce this all right bring it downwards let's get the height because this is not my original design that's why i'm doing this so with the height we can now type with double click on this get rid of that we don't need it anymore type new and then we can now work on the height so i'm going to take this one upward and then this would constrain to the top 
and we can now reduce the height so reduce the height that is the height round it completely all right and we're going to type sorry that won't even be the height so we're going to type mono mono dash board 3.0 3.0 is life mono has to pay me for this <laughs> um, and put the punctuation sign and then we can grab the arrow from here copy that Control c select this press Control v it's going to paste in there so you have that all right so we have the general size this is definitely going to be way smaller all right so we're going to break this and make it 10 and then it's going to be regular it's not going to be bold let's use medium and then duplicate it and this time we're going to type we're going to type the new so select this other one and type new in capital letter and make that bold all right so we have that and then we can give that an auto layout inside of them auto layout we'll come back to the size let's give it a blue first give this one now um, make the white make the white black and then the blue is going to be gray and then this one is going to be white right so the height everything has changed because of this other one so we're going to reduce the height of this one till we have what we wanted perfect so we have it back reduce the width and round that right and um, select this it was five initially so we're going to reduce it to six we're going to reduce it to six and i'm going to break this i'm going to select this and move this one out a bit yep so we have this we have this now this is this is okay right get rid of this other one we don't need it anymore sorry we need it we need it so bring that back to how it was right so we have this now since we have this we will now um, just keep shapes for the logo downwards I'm just going to grab this and this is where it's going to be so trusted bring trusted by trusted by this is going to be smaller so i'm going to break that it's 19 i'm going to change that to let's use 14 and see right break this copy that go to this other frame paste that in there take it upward and see what size they've used so they used 12 so we'll go back to ours and make that 12 right and then the other ones would carry the logo so we're going to give it a space for the logos and then we can now give it shapes for the logos All right space like this i'm going to round them completely circles grab this one place it here and then two more All right so those are going to carry um, are going to be for the logos and this is where we're going to stop for today i would close out the grid for now and we can now see what we've done let's see background is going to look white this is black what gray these other colors we'll just give them gray or the light view so that they can shine a bit until we have logos for them 
right so guys this is where we're going to stop uh, for today layout throughout um, the design um, you will be creating for any brand in the future so to do that all I need to do is I'm just going to move this upward a bit this way drag my arrow because this is us recreating this all right so we have build for the future I'm going to grab these two and bring them down was this way all right with that I would just you know what I would open mono as well so I can copy the text instead of wasting time having to um, type out the text again why that is loading we're going to do this so the second one is a h2 so I'll go to my textile click on the header and click on h2 all right so we have that there the only thing remaining now is to copy our text so this is a load animation it's usually done when a website has so much content and it's taking time to load so you would mostly find that so we have the build for the future we'll grab that text copy it come up here and paste that in so build for the future of digital finance so that's what they have over here and then we'll grab the body text as well so grab this copy that and then paste it in here so I have that text uh, bring tomorrow's solution to life and then after that we have this guy uh, we have this guy so I think we drew something like that during the last class let me find it I'm not sure we did all right so we're just going to recreate that Hello, can anyone hear me? Deji, are you there? Hello, Deji, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, okay. So sorry, I don't know what happened to the network. Right, let's proceed. Okay, so we have this part. The next thing you do is to draw this part. Now, we already have our grid. And remember, we have like... An invisible line going across this way from left to right and that is how our design is going to flow exactly on that line I would change this let me make it a darker color so I'll just make it black so that would represent the logo we'll come back to this guys later on let's proceed so for this guy I'll bring this arrow down here and that is the arrow I'll use to represent it so i'm going to draw from this point to somewhere around here all right and um, we have this so we're going to choose that blue color the accent color and then our radius we're going to use the corner radius we'll be using eight Right, to maintain the consistency from the last time I think that was what we used um, we used four for the smaller buttons and for this one I'll be using eight All right the next thing I'm going to do is to draw I'm going to draw some things and so this is where it brings me to the session where I said we're going to draw so we're going to draw this illustration and I'm going to show you guys how uh, we can come about it but let's work on this guy and then we'll come back to it All right so inside this shape let's drop this where it ends somewhere around here so send that upward so inside this shape we're going to have some text so I'll bring this put it in through here select this shape and give it a grid so we have the second grid we created from the last class a four point grid we'll put that in there I would break it and change the color to white so that we can see what we're working on. I would hide the um, grid of the of the um, of this other one. So I'm going to break this and hide that grid, the grid of the main frame. And then we have this. I'll select this one. I think we have a H three. 
but nav text and then body text and i think it's, it should be this one it should be smaller actually place it here for now and then grab that text that text is connect so paste that in there grab the body text as well this is the body text grab that and we're going to paste that in there now obviously black cannot be on a dark color like this so we're going to make that white and that will be it select this i want to check the colors to see that they are the same okay so which one is brighter checking the colors out right so select both of them select this color and give it this brighter shade and then we can add that to our color you say light blue slight blue we have two of that so but i know the one i am referring to right light blue keep it over there and then we have this shape right we're actually going to draw it for now so i'll grab my pen tool grab the pen tool and then draw it so come up here down here this way just like that click come down here place it here over here and we'll end it here all right i would move this one up for the beats. Can you guys still hear me? Please, uh, sir, we sure. Yes, I can hear you. Amazing. All right, so with that, I'll pick this color, hide this one, move it by the side. You can see that small roundness around it. So we're going to make that 0 0.5. Let me see if that works. Yes, that works perfectly. Right, with that, I'll move it into a frame, move it here, and that is that. And then this other one, text for this is going to be body text 2, I think maybe 2. Let me grab this text and see what size it is. Um, supposed to be a h3 so we didn't create for the h3 so i'm going to click on h2 and then break that and i'm going to reduce the size of this this is 28 you know what? i'll leave it at 30 so with that we can type h3 right take that h3 upward and then for the other text downwards so we have that as h3 grab this select h3 and we have that over there and we can be able to trace this and this break this select this and this and then move it upward using this from the auto layer panel you can use navigation key to move that upward and then this text is quite big so let's try that is 19 we're going to put it at let me see if this works for it okay just grab this text and be sure by keeping it side by side right so 13 works for it we're going to stick to 13 and then we're going to definitely create for the button for the button i'll just grab this text copy it come here and paste that in there move it this way and position it where it's supposed to be i'm going to change the colors very briefly change this to blue and change this to 
white whereas our white is at the top so change that to white and then the text is start with connect so we're going to type that as well start with connect all right and then we can now draw the illustration so to draw this illustration we might not draw everything but we're going to draw most part of it um first thing i'm going to do is bring out my pen tool i'm using mainly pen tool to draw this click on this side and this side um sorry let's do that again yeah so this point to this point so you can practice with the pen tool to actually know how it works but it works point to point I'm sure if you look at this closely you'll be able to do the same thing so it works point to point and then you can also bend it uh, but this is how I draw my I'll show you how you can easily just curve the corners all right so I'll do this part as well somewhere around here and then place this one here bring it upward here and here zoom out place this here and then end it here all right so that's for the base that's for the uh, base of the shape where the other ones will flow in from i'll come here click here move it upward a bit like this so you can either hold control and move this out and you're going to have something seamless all right you can adjust the handles as well and you're going to have a good curve actually if i click done you're going to see the curve is there the curve is certainly there or you can do it this other way click on it go back to the edit object at the top and then select it by hovering on it this way draw on it select it and then you can now start increase look at this part where you have the radius by the corner you can now start increasing the number using the navigation key all right that is a hack i'm sure a lot of you would like to use right so i would go on to do it for the rest of them just select this and that is that i don't have to struggle to curve things this is how i use my um my um the curvature inside of uh, figma so just around the radius and you can see how it works like magic so select this one select both of them and curve them as well very very well it gives you something really clean and we can do it for this last one select that increase it and there you guys there we have a sweet curve so let's hide this and you see that curve see how curved it is all right so we have that now um the next thing i'm going to do is to curve this do these other ones right so i'm going to go on with that i will just do this quickly so just if you're watching you can follow along and select this um place it somewhere here this one i'm going to draw it so click and drag in fact i'm just going to click and then click here and it's here here and then somewhere around there outside and then stop it there right with that one i don't think i'm going to create another one i'll just duplicate it and move it this way right something like this yeah but before i do that i would like to round this one first so that to maintain the consistency click on the edit stuff and then round those stuff just round them this way select this one give it that smooth curve interesting and this one as well just slightly this one all to the end and that's it okay so this part as well increase that give it that sweet curve very sweet 
right take this and place it somewhere around here yep that's what we're looking for and then we can do for the rest of it I'll just select this I'm actually going to show you what they did so I'll select this place it here right leave that there and we're going to do the same for this part so I'm going to grab this and leave this here as well and with that I would draw another line going from the outside this way this way and it's actually going to end not there so it's going to be from here to somewhere like here and then out again why I'm doing this is so that I can cover that part of the shape that they didn't want to expose with that you can now click on V or click on the move to inside of the edit panel and then round those corners right smaller right and then the last one yeah that's it all right so we have that covered uh, the next thing I'm going to do is this other smaller circles. I will just grab the circle tool and just spin that this way. Put that there, extend it some more, reduce this, and then reduce this other part. Extend this, and then do the same thing. Right, so we have that covered now. Hide that, and we have our shape right like i said we may not do everything but it's the same process for achieving the rest of them because of time so i would create um i'm going to create a line so i'm going to draw from here just draw this from here to here and then back to somewhere like here and then end it there we have that do the same thing again from here to this point and back at this point it's the same thing so I'll just draw them again from there from there to somewhere around here here and then here to yeah and yeah we're making progress something like this like this like this and it there and this should be the last one right with all of that we can select them and give them a color hide their stroke and just group them for now ctrl G I'll reduce the opacity to 20 so that I can still see what is behind them. If I know what, let's give it a stroke. Hide that stuff and make that stroke white. Right. So with that, we can draw another line from here going this way for the shadow effect. Drop it here bring it in here and then end it at this point v the same process again i know i'm having to do this over and over again so that it sticks to you to your to your your reserve your library <laughs> all right so we have that over there as a shadow for that and maybe just do this one okay let me see do this 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 part and it's here I won't draw other ones so don't expect it guys uh, you I'll give that to, I'll leave that to you guys to to tackle right hope you're able to do it at the end right so we have that and I'm going to do for this part so this part is a bit tricky we're going to do it this way yeah yeah over here 
is going to come here, extend, you know what, we'll just draw it out, bring it back in, over here, here again, out, bring it back in, here again, here, 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 write something around, Okay, let me show you guys how you can do this. So, we're going to create an extraction. So, I'll, I'll draw it over here like this. Bring it back this way. This way. Curve that and then end it there. Now, by doing this, we would have to. You see this other part inside that has this light I would have to now draw another shape this shape is what I'll use to create some sort of negative space inside of it so I'm going to draw the first shape right and then we'll draw another shape for this part if not it won't give us the same result all right so we're done with that uh, send this one to the top and we're actually done with that for now. Um, so we can proceed to bringing it to life. Okay. Sorry, I had to just reply something. All right, so we have this part done let's someone will be saying how about this curve all right let's work on the curve so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw it from inside this way this way here here and then this is how you curve things normally so i'm going to click somewhere around here and then I'm going to curve it this way. Just click and drag. So you're going to have to make an articulated effort to be sure of the place it stops. Now, I can't start teaching you how to draw with the pen tool, but with practice, I'm very optimistic that you'll be able to get it. All right, so with that, I'm going to do this for this part, and then I'm going to curve it from here okay bring it here and end it over here press enter and do it for this other part so I'm going to draw from here inside pretty much inside actually Okay, draw inside and then curve this part. Curve this part as well. Click that, continue this stuff. And then follow the lines till I'm able to get it at where I want it to be. Right, curve this part and end it somewhere here. Bring it back this way, V, this way, this way, this way, and end it there. All right, so we've been able to draw that, so it's time to now bring it to life. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this, send it upward. Reduce the size of this, send it upward this way so I can see what I'm doing. All right, with that, I would actually reduce the opacity of this guy to like 30% so I can see those lines shine. Select all of them, all of those lines, and make them white. Make the gray white as well. So all the lines are now white, right? So it's time to give them some colors 
but we need to isolate this guy so we're going to pick this guy this guy one this other one those initial ones you remember them I'm going to pick them with the circles send them to the top and I'm going to change their color I'm going to change their color to something like this no I don't need the fill so change it to this red or you know what the orange now nah. let's change it to the red uh, the pink rather and so we can know the ones that are part of that particular legion so we have this now uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into a frame so I'm going to use the base as a frame select that give it a color obviously it's going to hide every other thing so I'm going to give it a color right so we have that color there now this is going to be our base hide the stroke for now I'm going to duplicate it then by duplicating it by duplicating it this is what I'm going to do select both of them from the property channel here go up here and hit use as max yeah someone's mic is on do you want to say something yeah thank you all right so go up there use as max click on use as max and then I'm going to select all of these shapes and bring them into that use as max so I'll select the use as max uh, you know I'll select the shape first move them upwards no, I'll select them with the user's max, send them to the top, all right? Select all of them. These are all the vectors in here and bring them into this frame. Now you can see that they are, the other parts that were outside of the frame are now hidden. And that's what we wanted to achieve, all right? We have this guy. I'll just extend this guy outside a bit like this. That's it. All right now we can now give them a color. So I'll select all of these give them color break this use the eyedropper tool and choose that top color right this other one will be on top of them so send that to the top by right clicking and um, send to front or send backwards or use the shortcut so I like using the shortcut I'll just press the space bar close to letter P right with that give that a color as well and i'm going to give it the background color obviously that's the color it's going to be right now it's time to choose the background color and we have that guy now sitting pretty over there now we have some eclipse we created so we'll bring them in here as well those are the eclipse and then we can now choose the color from mono hide this guy and we pretty much have that over here now so the next thing to do would be to work on the other things um, like the switch so I'll bring this downwards a bit so that I can see what it looks like and then I'll select this one send it to the top I'll pick the color for it choose that color that's a color and then this other color I'll come back to it select this pick this color select this inner one and this one and then we're going to give it this bright color over here All right hide their stroke um yeah and that's it All right these other dark shades would hide their stroke as well we don't need it and then this one would go behind so i'm don't know when i grouped all of that so ungroup them select this one send them to the back right send them to the back and then we can now give them a color all right so select that hit the color hide the stroke and then pick that color for them perfect all right i like what's happening uh this is cool this is cool Right, and now it's time for us to bring this guy this guy and this guy and this guy upward so bring them upward 
and there we're gonna have something like this right and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it I'm going to make an adjustment to cover all of these holes so I'm going to set this guy in a bit this guy as well I'm going to send him in a bit right that looks good we're still making adjustments so select this guy give him that background color as well then move this guy upwards we have these other guys here and this guy give him the same color and choose that background color for him select this other guy moving to the top and then we're going to give him this color hide the stroke and there we have that color so i'm going to take this move it upward that way and we're going to take all of these guys and move them into our file so we're going to select all of this hold shift select the background remove that put this in a frame so right click click on frame selection cut that frame and i'm going to bring it in here and paste it so send that this way it's going to be something like this move this upward i think this way right right so let's see how they've done that for theirs i bring this downwards and see where it stops so move this this way fantastic all right so we have this now uh, covered and we can now proceed to do other things delete this I don't need it anymore and we have that select the frame and hide the stroke and there guys that's it that's it for that part we've been able to do this part and if you look at us you're going to see it's similar to this let's see let me see what's going on here send this to the back send this to the back as well awesome all right awesome so that's looking good i like it uh, if you want to add more details to yours you can now draw this particular one so that's the only one i didn't draw and i think there's another socket here all right so you can do that in yours as well all right so the space between them is i think it was 16 we calculated the last time yes so the space between the both elements is 16 so i'm going to do that as well i'm going to bring back our grid so bring back the grid extend our frame so we're going to draw more drag it downwards right there are times that you drag it downwards and you get something like this let me constrain this downwards you click and you are dragging and things are moving all you need to do is click on that element and constrain it so constraining means I need you to stay at the top so it's going to stay at the top and then stay at the left hand side or stay at the center so the left hand side means if I extend this it's going to stay at the left it will move but if I constrain it to the right and top if I move it from here from the right it's going to move with the right all right that's what it simply means but what we want to do now is to constrain it to the left and top there will be no need for increasing um, this frame so it's going to still be this way so select that and just drag it down now for any reason if you're finding it difficult to do then all you have to do is hold control click on the frame hold control and then just drag it down I'm holding control and dragging down and even though it wasn't constrained right that's if you've not learned more about constraints uh, constraints then you can now do it that way or if you can find your way around the constraints then yeah you can do that so I'm going to move this move it at the top and then we want to do for this part all right to do that part all I have to do all right so I actually have a better one so we we'll take this one that we've done I'm going to break that stuff take it and just move it upward bring this one here 
zoom that in closer out and in and then this part right these illustrations are tempting me so I may I may attempt to do them right so with this I'm going to um, just bring this into the file a bit so that I see what I'm doing focusing on and then draw the frame so I'm going to draw I'm going to bring this frame actually this particular frame bring it this way it's going to be 16 so you can select both of them and then look at this space here it's the space between items and it's 16 so if it's not 16 you can increase it and then with that I'm going to divide this frame into what's the number into um, two so I'm going to count one two three four five six so the sixth one that's where I'm going to move it to so this is the sixth one and then the last one is going to take up one two three four five six so that's accurate get rid of this other stuff and then I'll drag this downwards a bit this way let's see where that stops somewhere around here move that in and we have that nice and easy all right next thing is to obviously draw this stuff that is very easy so from down i'm going to take it from down this way to the center i don't know if that's the center but you get the gist from here we'll bring it this way if you're not using mouse for this i pity you use a mouse so that you will not end up with back pins too much back pins all right select the pink close this out move move this bring it to the top why is why are you not showing oh it's inside the frame that's why it's not showing all right so we have this guy all right all we have to do now is just bring him into the frame put it oh there's no auto layout here so I'll select these two put them on auto layer select this guy and he's going to take up the space of this guy the space of this guy the height is 30 and the height of this guy is 21 so if I do that it's going to displace this stuff see what, was, what will happen uh, yeah if I do this now and I delete this it will displace it sorry I didn't show you how to displace it so I'm going to keep a ruler here let's zoom in so we're going to grab this guy put him in here and delete this other guy see what happened they went above the ruler and that's because this guy is not in a frame all right so the frame for this guy is 30 so I'm going to select this guy right click click on frame selection and I'm going to move the height to 30 so I'm going to just type 30 now that's the height we're aiming for right center that horizontally and vertically and then moving back into this frame now if I delete this guy what happened there let me let me know sorry so let's do that again the height is 30 this height is 30 as well so okay okay so I know I know what happened all right um, sorry cut that paste this here let's see if that works here yeah, perfect all right so that was accurate you can see it all right let's proceed so I'll select these guys the white one take it to our black this one obviously would now be blue and white it's going to be an inverse color inverted color select this one give it that light blue that we had move this let's move this in a bit so I can see what I'm doing All right so we have this actually going to move this upward so we can see where it's expected to end somewhere here go back to mono and select their direct pay text come back here paste it in there reduce these guys and then the body text paste this as well 
reduce this guy. I'm just going to leave it this way. I'll put full stop here. So this is going to be this is going to be direct P. So start with direct P. I'm going to copy direct P. Select only a session of here, paste it in, and that's it. Right, the other one is in partnership with Flutter Wave. I feel like it wasn't aligned properly, but they have their reason for aligning it that way. I'm not a designer. Oh, I remember what they did. They had they put it in a button, but the button was not that visible. So it made it look more like it wasn't there. Uh, they've made it easy for me to get the logo for Flutter Wave. So I've saved that. I'll just come to my file and bring it into here. And bang, that's where it is. All right, so with that, I'll keep it side by side. This is going to be a lot smaller. So I'll just draw this arrow. Yep. And as assumed, it's smaller. All right, so this way, select this guy. This guy is 13. Let's make that 11. 11, but not bold. So the other text, move this upward and break it this way. Select it with this one. Give them a proximity of 16. So it's, it's quite far. Why? Let's do that again. So let's try it. Just adjust it to it looks like it's just one text. Right, so we have that there. Okay, so this is this is more like it. And that'll be it. So I'll, I'm going to leave it like this actually. I'm not going to add a button to it, which they did, they added a rounded button. So it there's a round button going here which i feel doesn't conform really so i'm going to move this out but before i work on that other stuff i'm just going to duplicate this right now that balances select both of them 20 20 is the space between uh we'll make that We'll make that 16 it can be 20 16 at the top and then you know what let's let's leave that as what it is this is 20 right so we're going to make the up one and then as well as 20 right so let these two and align top right so we're using 20 as our own spacing select this i'll close this out i'm holding control and just closing it out so that I can do for this other guy. Select this, give it color black. Right, the black will become white. This guy, we don't need him there. This black will become this other gray. This gray, in case you want to know, is 2020 20. 2020 20. All right, so that's the shade for that gray. Um, this one is request access right and the access has like a clock timer so go to plugin go to iconify right when you get to iconify choose just type clock and if you find something similar i'm actually going to use this one i like it i right, close that out and change that to white and with that as white we'll leave it here for now this is 12 so i'm going to change this guy to 12 24 divided by 2 i'm still going to increase him i don't know i feel like i'll do that so let's make him like 14 or so let's see right that's not bad select this guy there's a frame there just turn on the frame and we don't actually need the frame anymore i mean the grid rather hide that and 
we would draw this guy so i feel like the logo is similar to it let's pick two of the logo bring it out here we're outside send that to the top reduce the size i'm holding shift to do this All right and with that i'm going to flip it so just flip it 45 degrees all right reduce the what's it called radius again all right i'm going to group that flip it upside down select this shift plus h shift plus h All right i think i've seen what they did so move it this way this is this is something else All right we we'll just keep this guy by the side bring out our rectangle to move it this way send it to the top mm, okay so send that to the top and then go to the edit object select both of these move it in this way and this one and this one will move it in to it this way select this guy and reduce its size its radius select this guy and reduce the radius as well as well as this other guy down here i'll leave this one duplicate this guy bring him downwards select both of them put them on unite um, unite them rather and it's 30 so i don't need to do any other thing it's already 30 but you can just put it in the frame so i'm going to put it in the frame and the frame is also 30. select your color and give it that green All right so we have our green bring it in here All right and yeah that's pretty much what we're going to do delete this other guy so we have everything that we need everything is now fixed delete this other guy and what is left now are the illustrations for the both of them i know i said i wasn't going to draw them so but this is where we're going to stop for today and then in the next class we're going to tackle this other part on friday um that is this part we're going to tackle it on friday and then finish up these are the only two things we'll do in the next class on friday but let's 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 draw the illustrations it might take some time and that's why i said we're going to do those other parts on friday so let's start with this one i would come here all right draw the base so the base will be from here to this point to this point here bring it down this way and over here yeah and we'll end it here all right so that's the base i'm going to draw some other thing from here this way somewhere around here and then we'll stop it there all right draw from here all right to somewhere around here right somewhere here and end it there all right so we have something going it's looking good so far all right and this part here to zoom in and end that there the other part everything is going to be more like the same so we're going to do the same for this part bring it back here and it there click here click here so draw it whichever way you want to end it there just one more details and we will continue to bring it to life here and there All right so we're done with that part 
right the next part is to draw a circle obviously reduce this guy something like this spin this guy Give it a stroke so that we can see the inside and see what we're doing, hide that and just keep adjusting that till you have it in the right angle. Okay, something like something close to, close to this. You can take your time to do yours. Right. I need something pixel perfect. We can adjust this, just something like this. Extend this one this way, and let me see if we're going to get something close. Right. So I'm going to leave it as it is, full like this. <sighs> And um, I'm going to draw another shape, so I would reduce it, duplicate it, reduce it this way, extend this. Yeah, perfect. That is exactly how I want it. And then with this, I'm going to draw a shape going like this, like this, out here. Just draw it this way because I'm going to lock them in a frame. Then grab a rectangle, draw it this way, carve it, and then use it to represent these guys in here. So another one, another one, another one, another one, and another one. Okay, so let these three guys move them in here with this guy. And kind of spin them around. Y X no Y axis. Bring them downwards this way. Yep. So I'm done with that part. It's the same thing for this other part, but. That will be a lot of work. So I'll just do it this way actually. Give it stroke, hide this part. And uh, just from here. Cough that guy. right and end it over here let's see if that guy clicks in it's not quite in so I'll move him in all right so we have that guy press enter we know the color for this already so I'm going to grab this and draw those other sharp blue colors Going around this way, this other one over here. Okay. For these other ones, don't draw it this way. Draw them one at a time. Uh, when you draw you hit done at the top and go on with the other ones don't draw them this way 
except they are like terms if they are not like terms please don't draw them uh, the way I'm drawing it if not you would have to start afresh uh, or start duplicating and breaking it and it can be a whole lot of work all right so I wouldn't want you to make that mistake so please don't follow my style this other style is for things that are similar like these colors all right um, so this other one draw this somewhere around there I'm not going to draw the last one maybe in the next class this is a lot of drawing to do maybe in the less next class if we have some more time I'll draw the other one but I will glad to see people that were able to attempt all of it so get this we have it now and all we have to do I'll just move this aside a bit somewhere around here reduce this bring it this way put all of this in a frame the frame now will be white right and we can now start giving a color start from this one give it a color black send it to the back and select that color yeah that's it select this other one these guys give it a color break that and give that color select this give it a color that and the top cool right um, this one at the top select that give that a color and pick that gray that's it this part as well give it a color break that and give that that color this one give it a color this color break it and we have that color now for the top part let's reduce the size of this so I can see what I want to do to that top all right so I'm going to select I'm actually going to select this where is it select this give the color all right give it that orange select this other guy give him same orange color select this one going across them give it that light shade all right so uh, this one is select this bring this inside in between them cool right and um, all of this one I'm going to group them so ctrl G select this color and that's that all right so now to make it better select the base the base duplicate it select both of them from this property channel click on users max and then these guys would have to come inside so bring them drag them into the max and that's it so you're going to have something really dynamic you can drag this guy as well into the max right with that you have just one item and you can see how clean it is right with that i would actually draw a frame going this way to create that demarcation and just give this blue close this out send that to the top i don't know if that works right send that one step upwards select this give it this color and i would adjust this part right right so pick that color and that's that 
What's that? White. So pick this color from here. It was white actually. Select this, give it that color and white. Send it to the back. And then this other guy here will go to the back. Right. And then we can now make adjustments to this guy. So I'm going to select this, bring it this way. I'm going to do that really carefully uh, bring this other guy this way then bring this guy this way there guys that's it move this upward and we have a guy sitting pretty so select this adjust the frame and then I'm going to break the frame we don't need that cut this frame paste it in here so we have this right sent to the back select the frame and remove this grid don't need that grid select the entire thing remove the grid and there guys we have that illustration that's how you can draw those illustrations I hope you go over this. I'm also going to be uploading this video to my YouTube channel and uh, you can watch it. I've been recording for about an hour plus now. So you can watch it um, when you have the time. It, it will help you actually go over all of this and get it done. Now, in our next class, we'll be tackling this other one. It's much easier. Not much easier, actually. But it's, I mean, it's easy. And then uh, we'll finish up the website with these other screens remaining right so uh, like I said in the previous class we would be completing this today uh, being Friday and uh, happy weekend everyone uh, so we would also we'll be drawing this uh, just this one in this class we're able to draw two in the last class which is the one at the top and this other one down here and in today's class we'll be focusing on completing this other session of of this um, stuff and I'm also going to show you how you can actually get these frames um, by either downloading it or through a mockup so if you already know how to create mockups then it's very easy all you have to do is download uh, an iPhone mockup either iPhone 13 14 whichever one you want to download you can download that and just put your design inside of it and that's all um, there are other ways you can also do it I'll be showing you and so we we'll proceed from there to this other testimonial session uh, this these are called testimonials they are more like um, reviews from clients or people that have used the mono product and we also have this session getting started some of the features that you can find in um, in mono so they have some beautiful seamless UX always on support so with that you can get more support and then we have the footer session which is a very interesting session uh, when it comes to your know, UI design um, so you need to know how to create this uh, footer I'll just do this and make it one all right so this is the footer session and in the footer session um, you learn how to actually partition these things these things downwards there's a way we actually create them and they follow the grid system that way it gives us a well calculated uh, layout for them all right so without any further ado i'll just dive right into the designs all right so for today like i said we'll be continuing from this illustration so we'll go to this illustration and remember how we draw our illustrations it's pretty much simple you can use a pencil tool and you can as well use um, the uh, what's it called the pen tool um, in most cases you will find yourself using the pen tool um, and that's what we'll be doing for this now the background is black so the areas that are black will not be drawn like this area you would not draw them because it's more like a shadow effect um, so there's no need drawing it as um, since the background is already black I don't know if you understand so it's more like a negative space so you just focus on drawing 
the other parts all right uh, so I'll start with the pen tool I'm going to draw the base um, and then this other stuff at the top would come last all right so I'll start from this point draw it somewhere here zoom in come here yeah and I'll just continue with the process I'm sure by now you should know how to do this if you're not sure of how to do this you can actually go um, try to watch the video from the last class we had on Tuesday All right so I'll just proceed and you can just follow through with what I'm doing if you're watching after the class if you're watching at the moment you yeah, just uh, follow through All right so if you have any questions please leave your questions I'd love to answer your questions leave your questions um, in the comment section on the Facebook live um, and if you're watching this from another platform also you can leave um, your questions um, and I'll be glad to follow through with them and answer them All right so let's continue so I'm only focusing on the gray the gray color um, and not the black yeah yeah right okay, yeah this won't be so smooth so just have that in mind uh, because this is a class if I'm doing this um, outside of a class then I'll take my time to go over it but it's the same process all you have to do is just pay more attention to details and come back to adjust certain things when you make any mistake but for the class I'll just continue like I said it's the same process right so I'd also show you how you can adjust uh, whatever you're doing so for instance if I make a mistake and I want to adjust something let's say like this part I I'm still drawing but I'll just click on the move tool up here click on that move tool it to stop doing um, to remove the pen tool those lines I can now click on here and bring it down all right click on this one extend it a bit and that's it all right then go back to don't click done go back to the pen tool click on it and you can continue from where you actually stop so uh, you can see this this will not allow you continue so all you have to do is go back to move again click out of because you selected a particular node these are called nodes uh, so you selected a particular one so deselect that by clicking outside of the entire nodes all the circles you see are called nodes so I'll go back to the pen tool and then I'll pick the node where I want to draw from if I pick from here it will continue drawing from here but this was where we stopped so I'll go to the node zoom in come there click on the node all right now you're going to see that I can proceed you can see the line so with that I'll proceed without any hindrance it will still give me the same result I was aiming for all right so we'll proceed and I'll try to do this really fast so one of the good things with drawing your own illustration is you give it some more meaning because you you understand the brand more than any other person or more than getting um, a premium resource and one thing I like personalized illustrations and icon, icons is that you have the liberty um, of uniqueness other than just going on the platform and just getting uh, stuff from there you actually understand how to um, get these things done easily without having to uh, bother yourself about other people using the same the same resource you're using you would actually understand that this would actually make your products or projects whatever you're creating more unique and um, and that's one thing every um, client or product owner would really love and one brand that does this very well is Duolingo you can see their illustrations where all created from scratch yeah so it's not an illustration uh, system where you can find um, I mean on other platforms so this actually helps you uh, 
uh, create dynamic projects that are tailored uh, to the brand's uh, story and whatever they're trying to tell as their as their story so from here i'm going to connect this to somewhere else because i'm seeing um something that is not giving me what i want all right so i'll just go this way mm, i'll go this way come here so drawing your own illustration like i said will make your products very unique and then if you don't know how to draw or you're not interested in actually drawing it's not compulsory um, you can just hire the services of a professional illustrator and just include that in your view the client would love you for that trust me they would they would appreciate that a lot having customized um, illustrations tailored to just their brand so that means just like I use Duolingo, um, there's no one that would go to steal their illustrations or redraw it to use for their own project. No, you are just putting yourself in a catastrophic <laughs> position because <laughs> you don't want to be sued or you don't want to lose your career based on um, an illustration that you won't spend so much doing or something you could just avoid and use someone that can create within your budget all right so this is something that is very important um, to take note of all right so we're making progress but there are certain things we're going to do in between this particular illustration uh, I'm getting to that part all right so I'll go this way it's a bit confusing but trust me just pay attention to the details you would um, you would get things running right, so this way and I'll just go up here and end that so I've ended it where it's going to be um, I like it where it is now next thing is for this other part so since it's the same color I'll just continue drawing without hitting done all right this way it's going to combine everything actually into one um, one illustration or one one drawing all right so we're going to continue with that i'll go out here so these are the things that will take time in whatever project you're working on all right come here this one ends here we'll start the next one something like this here end it there yeah somewhere here there's do your thing and it there this other one very seamless so take it from here put it there and here and zoom in and we'll finish up this part Just pay attention to the details and you're going to get things running it's this is one of the most simplest illustration I've ever drawn so kudos to the illustrator whoever put this stuff together it's honestly mind-blowing all right but one thing the person has done he has made it really creative and has actually maintained simplicity um this is this is really amazing all right so we're done with the base um that's the base drawing uh we're just going to change the color to white so that we can see what we did all right so that is there i'll just give the 0 0.5 point and px and we'll draw the other part now the other part is this part so we'll draw the top one um let's draw the base first we have this black stuff going over here so we're going to use this black stuff to create something more like a negative space right come here and then end that there right we'll do it for the next one so anywhere we see black do it there 
come over here yeah and is something like that yeah this part you see how I'm studying it now don't expect to be that good from the beginning obviously this came with a lot of practice I've had to practice in the past back to back to be able to do certain things I do today so like I said practice brings improvement it won't make you perfect uh, but uh, mastery can come in uh, within um, a stipulated time frame but for now um, ensure you practice and just don't stop just keep practicing right um, this part as well yeah we're done with this part and then this part okay we're done with that i'm actually supposed to give that a color but i'll just make that a different color all right cool so that i know that that is the black shade and then for the light green or lemon i don't know what color this is um so we're going to draw that now and we're done with that actually done with that all right and i would give this another color and uh, let's draw this other stuff uh, more like a shadow effect going this way on it and this way as well to this point somewhere here here and end that there right give that a different color Let's give that blue and then the final part which is this part draw that shape right draw that and I give that a green yeah good evening toby um i'm sure you can catch up but if you miss anything you can go back to the videos on facebook on the group um, um the um, gda group graphics designer africa group i'm sure you'd find uh, most of the videos from the other class but well, welcome man right so let's proceed come over here over yeah um yeah and that there we'll do for this other part as well um yeah just keep trying it right we're done with that part but we're not done with that part <laughs> all right so let's do draw this inner part bring it over here yeah and there nice all right i'm going to grab this and move it this way all right and we are done with this illustration just like abc now the first thing you need to do is work on the top ones so you focus on the top ones this one for instance uh we're going to give it a color move the stroke use the eyedropper to i later i to bring out the eyedropper to then choose that color we've done that now we can now choose this other one bring the color and then choose um, okay let's move this one away slightly so we can be able to pick our colors move this one downwards a bit right select it with this one and do something like subtract so you're going to do subtract so it's going to subtract that center one you can see the space in between them now so that's perfect that's what we're aiming at and this would be at the top so we we'll select this one and we'll give it that color this one right this one is definitely going to be black so let's give that black it's going to be downwards so let it go downwards awesome 
right so let's work on this other one this one break this what's this right so we'll pick this give it a color and choose that dark green shade and then pick this shape and we'll give it the lemon color send it downwards a bit one step all right to send it downwards remember you can right click and do move to back or move in front uh, but if you do that it's going to send it really down really down down so what i do is i hold control and then the space close the bracket close to letter p you can either do down or the next one up and it's going to move by steps right so that's that i would pick this one you know what let's pick the black one first so we've given it black already uh, let's choose that black again and then choose this one now give it a color and i'm actually going to move this upward a bit yeah so i can see what i'm working on right so like this one send it to the back so like this give it this color and then with this and this we can now give it kind of a subtract yeah that's it i think we're done let's see let's see if we are done right so we're going to put that in a frame and this frame is going to be black right so let's see the original and see what we've done and see what it looks like all right guys so that's it um looks looks similar except for one thing let me just do that now this 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 and end it there give it black choose that black and just move it downwards into our frame and somewhere around here was it there no it was the left hand side of it so we're going to move it this way right that's it amazing love it right so we've been able to do this so let's take that into our frame now i'm going to cut that cut bring this more closer so that i see what we've done paste that in there send it downwards and remove the color we don't need the color send that to the back and um, let's see where it flowed from so somewhere around here move that upward a bit close this out close it out turn off the clip all right so we have that um looks good to me so we're done with this session we'll delete that we don't need that anymore delete this part delete this one we'll leave this one because we've not treated that top so let's let's continue wow 28 minutes gone already <laughs> how time flies all right so with this part i move this upward somewhere around here bring our stuff to this part all right grab our decks keep it there you know what bring this in just bring it in so that it can be closer to you people and me <laughs> more to me actually all right so we're going to type business building with mono i love mono i love mono so much their design is really cool here are some of the interesting features and experiences of no not of Powered by mono push stop right interesting so we have the other part downwards i'll just grab this and put it out here 
we don't need this anymore so we'll get rid of that move this upward break that this way bring it in and um what's that yeah so it's going to start from here so just move this this way and with that i would draw with a frame so with the frame pick the frame or hit f on your keyboard and then you can draw from here to somewhere here and we can now choose this color send it to the back and give it i forgot what we used as roundness eight we're using eight so we'll make that as well eight all right so that's cool all right we can now move this out all right i'll use i'm using the ruler to be able to trace what they've done because we're doing a redesign, a recreation, and not an original piece. All right, so in your own, you don't need to do all of this. All right, let's grab one of those buttons. I'll just grab that Control C. I've done that. Paste it in here. Bring it this way. And remember our line. So this line, we're going to draw this line here. All right, so remember everything has to flow anything inside the card has to flow on that line all right so grab this i'm going to bring this one down a bit this way so that i'll see where it ends yeah cool bring that downwards round it completely completely take out the arrow we don't need that and what is the copy i would move this upward bring it closer a bit all right the copy is leading leading and then it is black so where's our black cool i'm a fan of black and white for this one the text will be black and would hide the stroke all right and then we're going to type financial management All right this is not going to be bold so we're going to use the um, we're going to use body text 13 yeah body text All right and put both of them in auto layout shift plus a or click on the plus sign on that auto layout we have that now and I'm giving it a space of 16 so you can give it whatever space you want to give but I love to work with 16 account verification verify I don't know where I stopped <laughs> all right so move it out um, verification all right so we have that we can now double click select one again duplicate it and this time we'll type payments right that's payment and that's the end of it let's see how this went right really something almost accurate all right so for the next part the next part is the name so the carbon i'll drag another arrow keep it here i mean another ruler keep the next one here and the last one for the hypertext or the hyperlink all right so we have that we'll grab this and bring it in here yes but this obviously would not be h2 to be h3 so let's try h3 now let's type carbon carbons personalized uh, loan offers okay so this is quite long so we would reduce it to somewhere around account yeah so this is cool move this in and move this in i obviously won't type this so let's give it text two and then we'll go to mono's website now right so let's create a new link uh yeah so let's create a new tab over here we're going to type mono dot c and um, bring this this way so that's um, 
zoom has to work on this stuff all right so this is mono i'll go down there and copy that text instead of typing it afresh that would save us some time come back here and paste that in there now this one looks somehow um the text looks like they dropped the color uh color constructs and i'll just pick that text i'll make it a sub header text i can hear somebody from the background shouting what's the color what's the color i'll tell you calm down all right let's break this the color is 60 60 60. all right with that we'll select this and we'll change that to the sub header text right color sub header text color all right so i'll go out here and move that color to the top yep that's it all right so subheader text color and that is on body text 2 the body text 2 again like i said in previous class is 13 13 and um, is a medium but this looks like regular it looks like regular and i think it's regular but i don't know why i want to stick with i'll stick with medium i will stick with medium all right so we have that done all right and we just have to move this guy upward bits yeah perfect all right that's perfect i'll grab this guy bring him down here and we're going to copy that text again this text this time around and uh, go back there and paste it in there all right i'll come here and shall you I actually grab one of these buttons and just break it in here break the auto layout it's still going to be an auto layout and give it that primary view I think the ascent yeah so grab this text break the link that is with it grab this text copy it and paste it here that's it get rid of this guy move this guy upward this way all right perfect let me see this guy this guy is quite big let me see it's quite big so we're going to have to make that big i'll just grab everything hold scale bring it up a bit because i want the button to equally scale with it and with that i'll select this and make that 13. all right so i've made that 13. i think it is similar now very similar all right so we're done with that now time for this other uncle but first off let's work on this guy i'm going to use a frame so i'll draw a frame going here Give it a stroke, hide the other parts for now. And that is accurate. We're actually going to draw that stuff, right? I love to draw. <laughs> Alright, so we'll draw that. We just grab the pen tool from here to here to here to here. Somewhere here. Mm, you know what? Let's end this one here and then continue from here to here here to somewhere here and here and end up there and come back here to this point and click here and come back here and end that cool we have the first part the second one let's go yeah to yeah to yeah and yeah to yeah to yeah to yeah and that's where we're going to end that one so we have those two and um, I'm just going to move this a bit away something like that give it a feel all right with the eyedropper to pick that color click this one as well mm, and knew that would happen <laughs> all right so let's let's do this um, let's do this so I'm going to select this one duplicate it I go to this stuff edit objects erase some of the strokes 
right I think that should be it let's give it a few color maybe like blue no blue right it's not working so I'm going to go back to edit this time pick here come here and end it here cool so we have that hide the stroke we don't need that and then this time give it a color choose that color with that I'm going to select this and this I'll go up here come to subtract and perfect all right so time to fix this guy double click and just bring this downwards let's see if it's the same all right so we have that guy sorted now let's see if it's actually sorted give it our white and that is it get rid of the stroke and we have our guy all right so i'll grab that guy and bring him into our frame all right that's him over there keep him somewhere around here towards the end um, I'm going to calculate this I'll draw a rectangle I'm actually enjoying this class all right take that back in here that is going to be the space for the margin and then with that I'll move this this way I'll just leave it there for now and that will be where the phone would start from all right for this phone I you know what we're going to draw all of this so I'll come here grab you know just grab everything copy that come out here come out here and paste it so we have that stuff there the text is that sub color right and we're going to grab a frame so we'll grab our frame draw our frame this way right give it a stroke hide the color all right so we can do our stuff inside <laughs> you understand now all right so grab this guy bring him into our frame grab this arrow out put him here it's even the same size all right shift plus h to spin it horizontally shift plus h and that is it and we can now place that in there all right inside of this frame i'm actually going to create a grid uh, let's create a grid columns grid all we need to do is give it a margin yeah so i need that margin to be accurate right right that's nice i don't like red so i'll make it black and i'll change the count to two two is fine all right and just type estimated income it's bigger than it so we'll give that 12 I mistakenly clicked Can anyone hear me now? Can anyone yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Now. Amazing, amazing. Sorry, my network just kicked me out. Yes. All right. So, yeah. So let's proceed. I would grab a shape, draw it from the frame, from the grids. Give it a color, black. Give it the roundness, roundness eight. I think that would work. Get rid of this guy. Grab this bring him in here change his color to white and type total income all right this would be uh it's the same so let's just leave that there center it drag this one downwards you can grab the naira sign on google i think i'll just show you guys how to do that it's very easy go to google and type naira 
right and then just find it mm, naira look at it here so copy that and i'll close that out and all we have to do is now come here and paste that in there and that is that right increase that stuff to 32 i think that ah looks like i'm a wizard <laughs> 32 really worked exactly how it is right center that and uh, this other guy I'll just grab this arrow right I won't spin it I'll grab the arrow inside then spin the arrow yep that's it change that arrow to white bring him here mm, I think I have to spin him some more yeah that's it right with that the arrow is on 13 i'll make that 16 uh, this time i'm not right let's do 24. right 24 is almost the same it's the same actually so i'll just grab my square tool give it a stroke grab this guy ctrl x and then select this guy and paste him in there right select this guy Move him aside, give him a color fill, and choose this color. Give him a complete roundedness. I'll type 100 and center him. Alright, these other guys are simple, but there's something I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to I'm going to grab this text. I'm actually going to redesign this there session. It's not bad, but I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to type um, transaction um, let me see the size so we'll make that 10 transaction I'm going to bring in a frame something like this the frame is 40 40 is fine grab this guy bring him into our frame give our frame a stroke so we can see what we're doing is inside here centralize him horizontally I mean bring this out here type auto in the line height i don't like seeing those extra lines and then downwards here i'm going to type the time or the date the time doesn't matter actually just the date today's date is today is friday so 5th 05 5th um may comma 2023 all right that is on 10 i'll make that 8 normally it will be 14 when you design a mobile app so this smaller one will be 14 and then this one 16 or both of them can be 14 or 14 and 12 whichever one works for you actually i'll make this other guy black and then the sub body would remain the way it is bring this guy over here and grab our money just grab everything copy it select part of this paste it in there and that is it we're going to change it to 56,000 and move him this way I'm going to give him a grid actually um, columns grid and just increase the margin I want things to be pixel perfect so I'll make that 10 um, push this guy constrain him to the right and on the constraint as well to the right and just place him there centralizing horizontally and then we can get rid of our stuff we don't need that anymore select these two guys put them on auto layout shift plus a or click on auto layout select this guy with them auto layout centralize them the auto layout their spacing is 10 10 all right and that's that we're done with this i'll select him and give him a white color as the fill color all right and then the roundness i'm going to choose eight i think eight will do a good job for me i'll select the frame now i don't need any other thing in here so i'll choose white for the frame first off no not that so let's move this let's move this guy out a bit select this guy and give him white for now then select the actual color and this other guy just just move him side by side close it out a bit move our guy this way that's our new guy and then give our guy white obviously 
it's going to be white close out the stroke i mean the margin what am i saying the grid we don't need that grid anymore this guy is on 13 i'll make that 15. select with this guy put them on auto layout uh, now they are straight and that's what we need all right and this guy now in order for this guy to pop i'm going to actually increase the height a bit in order for this guy to pop we would need to give the background a different color so i'm going to give the background a different color let's try the first gray all right that works and i'm going to give them a space of uh let's do 10 or 16 16 is too much on the normal sense i use 16 but since the frame is not what it is then i'm using 10 was that 10 i'm using 14. yeah so we have this i think this is cool All right place it here right so we have uh, this renewed stuff um it's more like a, a new stuff for them this blue the blue in here i'm actually going to change it to something like um let's just make that no should we make that black let me see black um okay you know what i think this guy is too big inside of this frame so i'll reduce his size and i'll delete the rest of them and i'll duplicate this guy again this time i'll flip him horizontally and vertically get rid of this other guy select both of them duplicate them again yeah cool all right so that looks more visually appealing now i'm going to title this phone and it's time to give it this framing now like i said you can go on google and type iphone frame png iphone frame png and if you do that you're going to find a lot of them click on images all right on images and then you can pick anyone but don't click on the image here just click on the png wing but there's a way you can also download it from here directly but i would click on here so i want to get this other one i like the iphone 14 i would click here first and see if it's actually going to give me that stuff or oh, don't worry let's just click on the city link it would redirect us to another link um i mean to the of the website where it is and this is where we are and um yeah we can now download this is where the download is so when you see these other downloads know that they are ads especially when you see this x close to you just know that they are ads don't go and download <laughs> go and download another thing you can see other ones whichever one you feel you like it could be this one it could be this one any one but let's look at the one we actually want this one so i'll come here and click on download i think i'll be using this for a very long time so um we are generating your download link your download will start in three seconds so let's see if that happens download has successfully started and download has ended so let's go to my downloads bring that in here right so that's the frame and you can see it is transparent i'll hold ctrl and alt and just close this out right so it's transparent you can see what happens when you hover on other things now it's time to make it the same height with this one so i'll come here and then i'll close this out a bit so something like this hold shift drag it downwards somewhere here go to the top close that out as well i'm holding control to do what i'm doing hold shift and raise that up right with that i would select both of them and hit vertically or horizontally aligned centers right that's it that's it that's actually it 
All right, so this is this came out well. Select this. I would hold Shift and Alt to increase the size from the center, and um, send it to the back for now. Select this guy. Increase the length. Move this guy upward a bit, and then we're going to round it. So I would start rounding it. I don't know how many it's going to be. So that is so that that other part of it will not be showing outside of the frame. Right. So that roundness is okay. Yep. Send that to the back. Select that again. Send it to the back. Now that is perfect. Um, when we send it to the back, we then hold control. I hold control and close this out a bit. And there guys, that's how you do it. Select everything, hover on both of them, click control, control plus G to group them. Now they've been grouped and I'll just move it into that frame. So select this guy, bring him out and just put a guy inside that frame. Nice, this is, this is so beautiful. Well, not for this part. All right, I'm going to have to work on that. Um, let's see. This, bring it up, select the frame. Let's see which part of it is that other part. Yeah, so that's it. Bring it downwards a bit. Somewhere, yeah. Right. Select this guy and move him in a bit click here delete that guy select this guy send him to the top and there we have it all right so i'll get rid of all these lines we don't need them anymore we still need this guy so we leave that one so that is for this guy and uh, we're done with that so you can see how clean this actually made our design look really clean all right and you agree with me that they are same they are almost similar even though the frames are not the same but they are actually similar all right so let's proceed to other things um get rid of this guy we don't need this guy anymore so we'll delete that guy and the next part i love this next part it's very simple Alright, so we'll drag an arrow again somewhere here. Right, and this time we're going to say Y mono. I'll get rid of this guy and this guy and banking platform mono. Okay, so this is mono. Um, how do I reduce this? Okay, let's move this here, mono. Alright. So we're doing for this other guy. We'll grab the text. This is it over here. Place that there. And this guy is why market leaders are choosing mono. So go back to mono and we'll grab all of those text right come back to our design and just choose that go back and choose this other one right select all of these and paste that in there all right cool next part this part now this part has just two boards so we're going to select our frame go turn on the grid choose this part change the count from 12 to 2 all right you don't even need to change it to two you would still know all right so i'll change it to two and then i would close that out and just draw that frame so i'll draw the frame it ends somewhere around here there's a second part all right so we don't need this guy anymore bring this part and uh, just kind of bring it into our frame right move this in this way select this guy and choose this background color 
think the background colors are gray i'm not so sure let me check our gray if it's yeah so it's our gray so i've chosen the gray give it our roundness for the radius eight is the roundness and then we're going to grab this text put it in here and choose the that quotation or quotation mark right close this out that's that bring this downwards somewhere around here right and let's grab that text so we're going to grab the text the text is it's important blah 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 <laughs> so we're going to first of all give it that layout so this part from here to here is uh, 45 I'll send it to this other part grab an arrow place that there grab this guy and in there all right we can now get rid of this guy select this guy and paste our text in there obviously it's not going to be this big so we're going to choose h3 let me see it's h3 and that's it actually uh, we'll change it from bold to medium let's see medium semi bold right and would increase the the height line height one more step okay right so that's fine for me and that's it we'll extend this more for this part so bring that downwards and uh, we'll draw a circle and just bring that into a frame and then the name of the person we're going, I'm going to grab this guy and then I just I'll type my name David White and founder Dreamworks right select everything select this guy it's going to be way smaller so let's try nav uh, text nav text let's see if that is it that is not it let's try the one with 13 yeah i think it's 13 let's try the one with bold okay there's no bold so we're going to have to break it and create the semi bold version select this other guy we're going to make this guy the nav text 11 select both of them give them a proximity of three and that should do select these guys and reduce their stuff reduce their height to stop here and with that we can put that next to this guy so the other stuff beside it are logos of that brand I would I'd actually get my logo right so come here to branding I'll go to Dreamax and um, I don't have the PNG oh. I just drag this in and that is so big <laughs> I'll use that as the circle downwards there that circle is 20 20 so make that 20 now give it the roundness of this and make that 20 all right so that would be it get rid of this other guy all right select both of them put them in a frame and that's that select this guy go up here go to on splash the on splash plugin and I'm going to go to portrait and I'll look for a guy just quickly let's do that quickly um, I don't have beards <laughs> all right so no, it's I just there's an old man I really like seeing his photo 
reminds me of when I'll be old, so I'll use the old man. Yeah, that's it. So let's see if this is same. Nah. So this is quite big. So we'll give it let's give it 17. Send it to the left and downwards. Right, so that's the founder of that particular brand. And then the subtext body uh, header text color. And that's that for the first part. Move this outside. And we're going to do the same for the second part. All right, so I'll grab this and move him this way. So you don't need to recreate things. You see how easy it is. You can just use the same element across everything. So I'm just going to increase the size of this guy uh, from 42 to let's say 64 yeah so 64 is okay and I'll grab this guy very easy stuff now Let's paste him in there obviously longer and I'm going to type China yeah girl that's my community manager so I'm going to type community manager Dreamax. Let's find a girl. On splash, zoom out, portrait, and uh, we just find a black girl. Alright, I like this girl's image. Yeah, so that's fine. You can make adjustments to this image. Let me show you how you can do that. So for you guys that may want to readjust it. So come to fill, click on this image icon. You're going to see it's on fill. Go back to crop. It's going to show the full image and then you can just slowly move it down. I know many of you will thank me for this later. All right, so that's how you can do it. I think the man is okay. Yeah, the man is okay. So that's how you can do it without having to bother, oh, this is not the way it should be and all of that. So let's give this Dreamers logo white and let me see how that would look. You know what? No. Alright, so we're done with that. Um, we'll get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. We just have two sessions to go. Uh, it's already one hour. <laughs> All right, so this part, very sweet. I love this part a lot. Um, so let me see where it actually started from. So we also have these buttons to see more. I didn't take note of that. Uh, let me quickly take a shot of that. Come here, new. And I'll screenshot that, bring it into our frame, paste that in there, and just reduce the size. So that is how I also screenshot things and bring it in this way. And uh, that's that. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, um, grab one of those arrow. We're supposed to grab it inside this guy, but it's quite far. So let's grab this one, copy that, come here and paste that here. Alright, let me see if it's the same size with this. Yeah, it is. Right, grab this, Let's see, right, give that a color, round that completely, select this guy, move him in, change his color to white, obviously, center, horizontal him, move this aside, and then we'll give that gray, color in the background will be gray, and then the text, if that's white, will be the subheader navigation hold this shift plus h spin it the other way come here select both of them put them in auto layout align them to the grid line very well constraint to the right 
alright and uh, this other guy very simple O just draw O I'm giving it 12 and then increase it uh, I'm going to do this three times so I'm going to stop here give it black and uh, these other guys would be gray select all three of them put them in auto layout push this one here now this indicator lets you know that there is one more step left once you get to that last step um, it stops but the arrow would also tell you that so once it gets to the last step the arrow will change to the gray uh, but it's also nice to know that this indicator uh, would also help you so put both of them in auto layout centralize them and then move them upward a bit now we can get rid of this guy we don't need him anymore let me see the space between them 33 i'll make that 40. all right so 40 is fine and then the final lap whoa i've not been wearing my glasses and my eyes is now um, disturbing so uh, guys ensure you get a blue light glass get one all right it's very necessary it's going to help you uh, so you don't have migraines or severe headaches all of that so ensure you get one for yourself it's very very necessary trust me all right so would continue draw this we'll give it our background color the blue obviously this time I'm going to hide the grid I want to see what we've been working on how it's panning out all right so this is cool this is cool right um, yeah that's it right so let's proceed so for this part for this part would we'll, we'll draw this stuff we'll just draw one and just duplicate it multiple times so let's find one that is inside right so would it just use the shape shape tool shape yeah let's just draw a shape somewhere here here and end that here double click select this both and hold shift and pull it downwards pull it inside somewhere there nah, this guy select all of this guy pull him inside pull him upward Alright, select this down, bring it downwards a bit, and then round all of that actually. So click done, give it stroke, close out the fill, and I'll just round this. Now to duplicate it, reduce the height somewhere here, come back here, select both of this, move it upward bits like this select this guy select this guy moving downwards something like this because this guy is slim this other one is slim all right so that's what I'm, I'm aiming at all right click this guy bring him downwards one more step and then with the up one just move them up a bit select all of them i'll give it zero it's going to be zero all right cool select this guy and this guy give them colors and then go up here and click subtract and that's it guys we now have that shape all right so that's the shape when i give it this color and we can now duplicate it multiple times so first i'm going to do the first one here and then duplicate it one step and then one three four five six all right select everything 
deselect the background group that duplicate it um, let me see what they did to the other one all right duplicate it bring it down here select it again duplicate it this time it's going to come down here but it's going to be missing something so it's going to start from here I see this one so bring that downwards somewhere around here all right select all three of them deselect the background group all of them cut it all right and paste it in here all right select our background and give it this color select this and choose that color all right that is that move it in a bit like this and we're pretty much done with that select these two move them upward so i can see what's happening there select this guy move him in a bit the down part will be black so i'll grab this and just make that black choose black select this guy close him out select this two group them move it upward all right select this guy reduce his size bring this just like that move him upward this way and then group these guys bring this guy here bring this guy here as well right and increase this guy okay so I'm going to going to duplicate this guy this is one two thought it was three I did one two okay okay I see duplicate this guy this way all right send that guy upward okay so that's it and then the party continues all right so get started grab that text bring him in here all right what's this guy for delete that guy bring it in here so this is where get started begins change that text to white and obviously type get started getting started okay and that'll be h2 h2 but another font width so we do semi bold and um, final lap this other guy this will be white uh, radius 8 for consistency sake bring this other guy down here so that we can know where to drop our guy and we let me see if that is it's not possible to copy I'll just save it let me see I'll just save that image bring it into ours guy right I'll bring that guy in download in right cut him 
bring him in here, paste him, no time to recreate this, it's not important. Let's see the height. So come down this way, move him this way. Alright, so we have something that is consistent. Alright, move him this way. With that, we'll grab this our uh, guy and move him closer to that. Right, um, final lap. Bring this guy in here. Now I understand why the other line was there. Right, and then type the find, copy this other text. Copy that paste that in there I'll change that to H actually maintain that and give it medium this would be like 36 right and break that delete this guy change it from medium to semi bold like that let me see if i can copy this text save as svg yeah cool i mean their icons so i'm saving their icons save as svg so we don't have to recreate that again uh, you can download whatever icon or you can save it the way i've just done all right downloads click all four of them bring them into the frame and there they are all right select all of them put them in auto layout for now and i want to be able to tell what size it is so i'll select this reduce the size Something like this. All right, let's see that. One more step. So it's around 46. All right, so I'll break everything and I'll type. I just leave it actually. Just leave it. All right, give them spacing and i'll put them in a component so go up there and click create component and put them in a component in a component because i want to be able to just use one and just reuse it across every other element so i'll grab one of it hold shift drag it out all right let me leave all of them there and i'll put it in this frame all right so we have what we want to use i'm going to Go ahead to drag another arrow bring it here and that is that position that there select this to put them on auto layout All right so that is exactly where we want it to be move this one downwards so with the auto layout move it give it proximity of eight and then the hyperlink which says read our stuff so we're going to grab this copy it and paste it in here so we'll just keep it here read our api doc something like that so let's copy that text wow all right copy that text paste that in there break that stuff we don't need it to have a link and I'll bring this guy downwards a bit right so that is that the next part select this guy bring him downwards I think I'm using what am I using 20 so select this guy and this guy and type 20 
right this other guy will be smaller so let's grab this text I'm going to leave the hyperlinks um, those other stuff of the other one right grab this and this would be h3 right um, reduce that something like this this is bold so I'll change that to semi bold now this is what happens now see what we have here we don't need this up one anymore so we need this other one get rid of this image select this move it in a bit now I'm going to change these columns to 3 so I've changed it to 3 bring this guy place him here right and with that I'll move this one in and put this guy in auto layout zooming in a bit select this bring an arrow here bring this one downwards a bit select this guy downwards and uh, push this guy upward put this guy here and bring this one place it somewhere here move these guys upward use this one somewhere here this would be a lot smaller so let's do 24 yeah 24 could work reduce this guy something like this and then now this is why we created the component set to use it is very easy so all you have to do now is double click on this guy just double click on him come here to property and just choose the next icon and there you see it the icon has changed to this one now the icon is it's quite smaller but I'll just retain its size uh, to what we have here and then I would duplicate this and actually bring this out of the frame so send this here bring this out duplicate it three times select all three of them and move them back inside right I'll put them in auto layout that'll be obviously 20 and um, right select the up one and type 20 right um, bring this guy downward so I can see what other icon is for this part so this one would be the first one and then this one will be the last one right so we have all of them accurate get rid of these lines we don't need these lines anymore including this one can now grab the text and just replace the text so put the text here come here do the same for this one right obviously it won't go past that line so somewhere around here and that's that right so that is that wow I've come a long way right so we are we're done with most of it icons I hope this step-by-step -step guide is really helping you guys create something so this and this these two I'll put them in auto layout with this one auto layout and this one I'll just draw a frame from here to here and frame for this one as well 
Right. So final lap here. Move this up here. Somewhere around here. Select this guy and push him upward. Alright, so final lap. Grab one of these guys, bring them in here, change it to white, centralize the text, increase the length a bit, and uh, as usual, bring that arrow and um, yeah, just map out for the other ones. Alright, so with this, we'll grab that text, start building with mono. Right, body text. Put that in there. Change it to white. And we're going to say, we're not going to say anything, we're going to copy that and paste that in there, centralize it, increase the line height, and select the next one are the buttons. So we're going to grab our buttons from the top. Copy that, come back in this frame and paste that in here. It's going to be here, centralize that. One is start now for free and the other one is talk to sales. Uh, talk to sales, we'll just leave that as contact sales and just use. Let's see our subheader color and then the text in white. All right, so the subheader color it's almost similar to this well let's use this one now is 20 20 20 for those that would need the color code all right get started for free and this line goes from end to end right give it that other color and then this other part now this is the part i was talking about partitioning all of this stuff down here uh, let's grab this guy and send him down here first this guy i will give him the 20 20 20 all right and uh, just grab this over here and this other guy down here All right let's grab our logo first copy that and paste that in here bring him down here give him the white color and that's that the other text beside we'll copy that text just copy everything select this guy in here and paste that text inside him let's see if it's bold yeah bold and the last text here the twitter and linkedin you know what let me just do that for you guys all right so iconify twitter and linkedin so grab iconify type Twitter, bring out that icon, type LinkedIn, Iconify is spelled I-C-O-N-I-F-Y, alright, grab this other guy, LinkedIn, I'll grab both of them, take it to where this guy actually is, so that I'll be able to tell of their size, right, reduce that size somewhere around here let's do 13 yeah so 13 is fine and then we can now type twitter we change that to the this is 11 and still big all right let's try Try 10. 
medium, no, semi bold. We use, you know what? We use, we use ten. I won't go below ten. Select both of them, put them in auto layout. That's three. And then just duplicate this. And go back to no need. Just do this this way. Bring this one. Put it in here. Select this one. Delete it. All right. Create a circle. And then we can now choose these colors. All right. That is the color. Select all of them. Deselect the background. Break this and paste our color in there. Put both of them in auto layout and give it proximity of eight. All right, I'll move this in this way and move it into our frame. All right, so it will be over here, and that's that. All right for the other one now click on the frame you're going to create a frame and then click on layout grid come to columns obviously you know how to do this by now and then we're going to choose four now how many are they they are four one two three four so they are four so we've chosen the four all we need to do next is give it um, um what's it called a margin I think we created a grid style. Yeah, we created a grid style. So let's just use our grid style. The four. And then break this. Give it a white. It doesn't quite give us what we want. Sorry. Let's do that again. The 12 point grid. We'll use the 12 point grid. And then give it our white. Yeah, I don't want to have to recreate that. So you can see the margin is accurate. Now it's four so i'm going to change it from 12 to four and that's it so the next thing you're going to do is grab the text come up here we don't need this guy anymore so get rid of that guy come here paste the first one on the first block you can see there are four transparent white blocks here so we'll grab the first the first text is products grab that Paste that in there products grab this color that will be the color for products break that paste that in I'm going to call that white gray right products give it that proximity let's see where it ends or starts right something like this let me see the size as well, if it's the same. So we're going to type connect. Yeah, I'll stick I'll stick to what I've used. Right, and type that, paste connect in there, change the color to white. So change that to white. Click out, drag that our color upward right and the next one flows from what line here all right put these two in auto layout select the header put it on auto layout as well then hold control select any of this one and we'll duplicate it multiple times so for this one they have one two three four five six six seven and this one is four nine so i'll make it i'll just make all of them nine so we've done two we just press ctrl d three four five six seven eight nine all right nine stops at this point so i'm going to grab all of these guys and increase their spacing yes that's that's it now we have it on the first block right so we have to do it for the other one so all you have to do to maintain it is very simple just grab it hold alt and move it 
I'm holding Alt and Shift and you've moved it to the second one. You can do the same or you can press Ctrl D and it will do it just like this and it's there but at times it doesn't give me an accurate number. So that is it guys and uh, I'll just get rid of all these lines. Select this, hide that grid, select the main design, hide that as well and we don't need this guy anymore so delete that guy grab this cut it send it to the top paste that up there then this guy delete that all right so that is how you can actually go about creating the monos design um yeah, so you can also grab the logos. Let's just grab the logos. So go up to Monos stuff. We'll, I mean, they're partners. So save the image. It's going to save as PNG or SVG. Save this other one as well. Save this one. SVG, all of them. Nice. Monos developers are amazing. <laughs> all right, so we have all of those logos go to download and grab those last four stuff that were brought into here grab everything put them on auto layout horizontally give them that spacing all right I'll bring them here so that I can resize them accurately so grab this one first this one second and this one will be last right with that position it well and then let's do a resize the first one just paying attention to the first one all right that's it and then we can increase the proximity for these other ones somewhere around around the air let's see we we'll have to now manually do this right so let's increase that first somewhere here with the scale tool I'll reduce that and this one as well and this one right so it's time to put that into into our frame I'll leave this last one so I see where it stops all right turn on our grid and see all right that's fine that's actually fine mm, that's not fine push that in there with this put in auto layout right know what I would like this to be pixel perfect so I'm going to keep increasing this to get to the margin yeah 150.4.3 yeah cool I like it all right so this is pixel perfect for me now all right so let's grab these images we we'll just we won't do exactly what is here um, you know what let's just do it um oh we can't we can't actually uh, so I'm going to just put stuff in there just going to put images in there so let's go to our splash and we'll look for logo we'll just click logo and see what we find right something close to what we have here so that's it guys 
let me see this button looks smaller this one looks bigger so I bring it up there put all of these guys inside of a frame and there we are done